Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be reverting my hair from straight to curly, even though, you know, it's... <laughs> look at this. It's, I don't really know if you can call that straight, but I'm going to call it straight. The back of my hair is literally already reverting back. I thought it was about that time. As you guys can see, like I'm getting knots back there. I've just been having it in a bun or whatever you want to call it. Um, but no, it's about that time. Look at that. It's already like, mm -mm. no, 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 no. So yeah, we're gonna start off by brushing my hair. I just wanna do this before it gets wet because it's gonna get even more knotted once it gets curly again. Um, but the back, girl, I cannot touch the back. <laughs> I cannot touch the back. So step one on reverting your hair back to curly is putting coconut oil on your hair. So the reason I'm gonna be putting on coconut oil is because I wanna bring back some of that moisture on my hair because my hair is so dry so dry it's sad it's scary curly hair is dry in itself but girl 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 i lasted with this hair for around a month almost so you best believe it's real dry real dry um yes yeah, so we're gonna be putting on that coconut oil because it's needed i don't want to put shampoo on it because shampoo is going to strip the oils that are not even there coronavirus here so yeah step one coconut oil After putting all of that coconut oil in my hair, now we're just going to make sure to put it in a bun, put it in a plastic cup so it can heat a little bit, and wait around 10 to 15 minutes so that moisture can really penetrate my hair follicles. And now the next step, step two, is deep conditioning. I'm just going to make sure to get my Shea Moisture, I think it's the Jamaican Black Castor Oil, mine, and put that on my hair as well, on top of the coconut oil to give it that second dose of moisture i'm going to make sure to leave it in my hair for around 30 minutes step number three is to do a protein treatment I think it's, this, is, this is one of the most important steps, honestly, because when you do your hair, um, it really, you know, you, you can, if you do it right, you don't have to do a lot of damage, but some damage I think is always done, um, even if it's a little bit. So I think it's really important for this step to do this protein treatment. I actually have a video of me doing the full thing and I'm gonna um, put a card up, it, I think on the top right as well as below. After doing the protein treatment, I'm just going to go in with another moisturizer, a protein pack, um, because the protein treatment can really strip the hair <laughs> as well from the, moisturizer, from the moisture, but it's really helpful. I'm just going to go in and deep condition my hair again and leave this in for another 30 minutes. Okay, y'all now moving on to step number four we're almost there i promise so this is actually the next day i left the conditioner the deep conditioner on for the night um so this is now freshly washed shampooed and all that good stuff and now i'm gonna be going over my regular routine 
been putting on the kinky curly knot today make sure to re-wet my hair because my hair dries without any product crazy fast and i'm going to be also using the curls something i don't remember the name <laughs> i'm gonna put the name down below and i'm just gonna be using these two products and putting it in my hair i feel like this is a really good combo for my hair it actually gave me a lot of volume i don't know if it's because of the new cut so i wasn't really sure how my hair was gonna come out but i'm pretty happy with the results and i love how easy how easily my hair is taking in all the moisture and the shine that my hair gives off you'll see the results at the end Okay, mi gente, so this is a couple of hours later. Instead of it taking six hours like it regularly does to dry, it only took four. So, as you, can you guys see the shine on my hair? Like, okay. I can see a little bit that it got a little loose, but that's okay. That typically happens, and then they go right back to really, really tight curls. Um, but I'm really happy with the way it came out. The shrinkage is real, people. Real, 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 real. But that's what happens when you want to cut your hair straight, right? So I hope you guys like the rest. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more things like that, let me know. I hope you guys like this video. And if you guys want to see anything else like this, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.